Simley said Stilicracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3, Episode 37. 37. And we are back at Diamond and Marco's house. And in the last part, we just aged up little, I always forget his name, Ernesto. Ernesto. I'm just not very used to the name Ernesto. I've never known an Ernesto. So I always forget it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Ernesto's outfit is, you know, not too bad. Oh, baby, please don't. Don't do that. Oh, no. Oh, sweetie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This just makes me feel so sick. Oh my gosh. Please, please stop doing that. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Um, let's just hug lovingly the child and maybe, uh, maybe it's a good opportunity to go to some parenting and discipline recent behavior. Uh, ask not to splash in toilet. Not yell out. We won't yell at our kids. Just or Ruby wouldn't yell at his kid. Just say, that's not cool, you're gonna get jammies and you will get sick. Anyway, I also wanted to take this opportunity to change these clothes. So let's get Ernesto to plan his outfits. Oh, hey, I was thinking about checking out the city today. Can I use your place to get ready? Oh, Bobby! I love it when Bobby calls in. That makes me so happy. And also there might be something in the mail for Ernesto, but I've just started recording straight after the last part, so um, there might not be. <laughs> we'll see. I kind of want to use this new hair because I haven't used it yet. But I don't know, it doesn't really suit Ernesto, does it? Oh, that hair is so cool, but we've already got um, that hair being used by Gem's child. So maybe Ernesto... Oh, no, that doesn't really suit on Nesto. Maybe I guess we just keep it as it is. Uh, I would love little backwards caps for kids. That would be so cool. Anyway, let's um, oh, let's maybe do the Void Critters. The Void Critter outfit. Because oh, these are so cute from the new toddler stuff pack. Oh, actually, it's been out for a little while now. I'm actually pre-recording um, this part because I'm away right now. I'm going on a beach holiday as well. So I'm... Very excited about that, but it does mean that a lot of these videos are pre-recorded for you guys. Um, so if I ever say something that doesn't quite make sense and you're like, girl, what are you on about? That would be why. <laughs> I feel like Ruby would definitely maybe dress him. Oh, actually, these pants are pretty cute. And I love this hoodie. This hoodie is everything. Yes, slay. Let's just give him the bear one. Now I don't like these pants on him. Little purple pants. Oh, little purple. Oh, that is a baby with some style. And <laughs> he can wear little baby boots. <laughs> so cute. Uh, and in terms of PJs, uh, I'm kind of getting sick of these. You know what I mean? I'm kind of over those. I know I picked this for a couple of other toddlers in this Let's Play already, so... Oh, the bird's nice, so maybe we can do the bird with some orange pants. Mm, no. <laughs> mm, no, we need more pants options. More little sleep... I mean, you can sleep in these, can't you? It's not like... You can't yeah. sleep in these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just let's just do this. I mean, it doesn't match, but oh, why don't we just go no top? <laughs> That's cute. I'm happy with that actually. Awesome. And then Ruby, I feel like Ruby could do with getting rid of that outfit. I'm really sick of that outfit. We can keep. Oh, maybe we need to change this up a bit as well. Um, Ruby is obviously a curvier sim than she used to be but i'm not really looking to make her lose weight some of you guys have comments have some of you guys have made comments about it and how she should lose weight but i just i like having a curvier sim in this lp i feel like if they were all like that same petite size it would just get you know too repetitive and not realistic enough yeah let's just get her to wear some like simple runners or something oh those those definitely don't go some converse will go in black though or adidas sneakers whatever cute she's just i just want her to look very mum <laughs> very stereotypical mum like she doesn't have a lot of time to be worrying about her appearance she's looking after a new 
toddler and you know that that's what she's focused on right now not about looking pretty all the time okay these guys are adorable i think uh i think what we'll do is can we just say hey to barbie i miss barbie we really need to go back to barbie's household in the second half of this lp um oh, book help <laughs> uh you know what let's maybe put a nester in here and give him some food let's just give him some applesauce to have and then I think what we're going to do is actually go on a play date with some of the other um, cousins, the toddler cousins, which will be fun. And yay. So maybe we'll go once we've put Ernesto into his chair. Let's just have a bit of a conversation with Barbie. Aww. I mean, I've got to say, she looks pretty good for not worrying about her appearance. Like, that's pretty... A fairly stylish outfit, I would I would say. Dag, dag. It's like, hey, mom, thanks for dropping in. Oh. Barbie's like, how's my little Ernesto? What? Ask due date? Oh, my God. That is like the meanest joke ever. Like, so, mom, are you coming to the play date today? When's your due date? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I feel like Barbie just copped that on the chin. She didn't really care. Zoom. It's still a happy discussion. Barbie's probably jealous of all these toddlers. She's probably like, oh, I really want a toddler now. We could take a picture together. It would be nice to have a picture of Barbie and her in the house, actually. Let's take a selfie. Oh, no, not take a photo of. I want to take a photo with... Take a photo with mom. Barbie. Oh, my gosh, Ernesto. <laughs> Look at him in his little overalls. They're so sweet. Oh, I just can't get over his appearance. He looks so much like Marco. Oh, look at the gals having a good old time. Uh, which way should we do it? Look at their long hair. Oh my gosh, I just realized how much Ruby does actually look like Barbie. That's pretty crazy. Oh, Barbie must have a very good surgeon because she always looks fabulous. <laughs> All right. Although Ruby does have brown eyes, so Ernesto did get the brown eyes. <laughs> He's just not blonde. Okay, let's go into our inventory and put that up somewhere. Where do we wreck it? Maybe just on the wall here. Is there one that's not blurred? There we go. Let's add a frame to that. Too many dish dishes and Marco can't keep up. Does he overload the dishwasher or give up and leave some dishes unwashed? Well, it's better to leave some unwashed. Performance gain small. Well, it would be silly to just keep putting them in the dishwasher if they don't fit. You'll just break it and then, then we're for sure going to get demoted. Put that over there. This one sides this up. I'd really like some new frames as well because I feel like these frames are so thick when you size them up and they're always black and the same. Oh, that's cute. All right, guys. Well, how about we have a little play date? Ernesto, do you want to meet your cousins? Do you want to meet your cousins? Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. I mean, Ruby's a little bit hungry, though. Um, but after she's eaten that, let's... Uh, let's... Plan a social event. Why can't we do that? Well, one is already in progress or while working. I don't even know what that is. Oh, because we're technically working from home. My bad. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Okay, let's plan a social event. And Barbie can come too. We'll make her jealous of all the toddlers so she'll get clocky again and want to have her 10th baby. Toddler play date. Yay. Ah, I'm so excited. I've never done a toddler play date before. Host a big party for Tiny Tots. Invite all the toddlers your little one knows for fun, play, and general merriment. Oh. Okay, so why can't we... Um, you did not have enough money? <gasps> We've only got $44. Oh, come on. Like, obviously, Barbie's going to pay for it. Oh, wait. Testing. Oh, my God. Please stop crying, sweetie. We will have a play date, Ernesto. Mommy, mommy's got trust fund. 
Okay, so we need to go money. Let's let's give them a grand because they're really struggling. <laughs> and now Ernesto stops crying. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Lisa. Okay, time to go to the park to see all your friends. Let's pop that in the fridge. Oh, pop that fruit salad in the fridge. <laughs> It's like, I'm so excited to go to the park in my new boy critter outfit with your yes. rainbow moccasins. They're so cool. <laughs> All right, toddler play date. Here we go. Um, so we will host it. And host toddler can be an Esther. That's adorable. And what? Oh, come on. What? We don't know any of the toddlers. That's so unfair. This is silly. They shouldn't, they should make it so you don't have to know the toddlers before you meet with them. How are you meant to make toddler friends if you can't just automatically? <sighs> this is so annoying. Fine. We'll have to go over to each person's house and quickly say hello to their toddlers so that we can invite all the toddlers. Oh man, I'm triggered. I'm sorry, lots of lots of viewers get offended when I say triggered. So I should not say that. Uh no Roberts doesn't. Who's got toddlers still? Does Topaz? Yeah, Topaz does. Alright, we'll go over here quickly. Uh, I feel like Barbie should just come with us because you know. <laughs> Why not? And then we then have to go meet Jem um, at his house and then we can go on the play date. Oh my gosh, this is just so difficult. So time consuming. Nah, it's okay. I'm just excited to check out the toddlers playing together. That's gonna be cute. All right, hello friends. All right, I just need to quickly meet my, I mean, really, Ruby should know her nieces and nephews by now. I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel like, oh, I adore this apartment. This is so Topaz and Nita. Like, this is so... Correct. Friendly introduction to you. And where's the other one? Where's the other little tyke? Oh, there. Wait, is that our kid? Wait, is that? No, that's not ours. Hello. Okay, let's quickly say hello to these two. Hello. Oh my gosh, and now it's going to be too late for our toddler catch up. How sad. Okay, alchemy and indigo we now know. Excellent. Okay, good to meet you guys. <laughs> now we're going to go over to Jem's house and quickly meet little Tommy and Jeff. My name's Jeff. Uh, doo, doo, doo. That was terrible. My name's, my name's Jeff. Uh, okay. God, that, I swear that meme will never get old. <laughs> Oh, I can watch My Name's Jeff on YouTube over and over again, and I laugh every time. Like, I will never stop laughing at that. Channing Tatum was just so funny. Oh, hilarious. Okay. I'm so keen to get these toddlers together, and then we're going to have to sleep all through the night and then have our play date in the morning tomorrow. All right. It's so crazy how all of them live in different houses. Like, they live in such different places. Ooh, they've got a nice little bluebell plant. All right. Hello, little Jeff. Hello, little Jeffy. It's lovely to meet you. Meet Auntie Ruby. And hello, little Tommy Tom Tom. Tommy Tom Tom. Tommy Tom Tom's Tom Tom. Oh, adorable. So maybe what Ruby might do is, oh my God, she doesn't even know Margot technically. God, I swear these guys have met so many times. Surely it's a, ga a game glitch. Anyway, we should say to Margot, uh, don't shout forbidden words. Maybe we should just friendly compliment her outfit and be like, oh, hey Margot, you look really nice today. Uh, what do you think about maybe making some fruitcake and getting the kids together tomorrow morning? Would you be interested? I'm really keen Glitch. to get Ernesto Ando. socializing from a young age. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds awesome, Ruby. Sure, we'll meet you at the park near yours. Okay, go, okay, so it is now the morning of play day day. I've just skipped Ooh. ahead a little bit and Ruby and Ernesto are having a really nice 
mummy son breakfast together and Marco is home from work as well so he's slept in and having some eggs too and they just look like such a cute little family I just think they are adorable and you know what I love their apartment I love that it's not as fancy schmancy as the others okay is Ruby freaking out about first playdate day or she's just watching Ernesto oh she's so proud of him all right she's gonna go to the toilet quickly we might even get her to have a quick shower and it's a Sunday, so it's the perfect day for a play date. We probably need to give Ernesto a little bit of a little bit of attention. Uh, maybe just change his diaper. That would be good marker. <laughs> and he also needs to have a shower as well. All right, do you mind doing some daddy, some daddy daycare? Oh, he's feeling tense from a disobedient toddler. <gasps> what has he done? Parenting, discipline, recent behavior, firm. How not to be defiant. Okay. Uh, and Ruby's in need of some fun, but she'll be having some fun soon. I think the main thing is... Oh, he's getting lots of attention now. He just wanted the attention. <laughs> okay. I think what we'll do is... I think we should go straight away to the park. Let's do this. Let's plan a social event again. Try this again. Oh, I love that picture in the background of Ruby and Barbie. And Ruby's in her new outfit we picked for her in the last part. It's looking very good. All right, she's looking very stern. But this is her first play date she's organizing. So it's a big deal for a first time mom. Like the first play date with toddlers. Oh, do you mind not going for the nip there? Okay, toddler play date. Excellent. I feel like we've done this once before. We can get Marco to come as well. Um, Ernesto is hosting, and now we have all of our cousins. So we've got Alchemy and Indigo, Topaz's kids, and Jeff and Tommy. Um, Jem's children. Actually, we forgot to do Quinn Roberts after Jeff's name. Whoops. Okay, and I want to go to a new park I've downloaded uh, from the gallery. Oh no, don't tell me that it's not going to allow us. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh well, we'll just have to replace the park once we're there, I think. Okay, this was it. Toddler and Family Park by Plum Bobby with a capital O. Alright, let's place that. Uh, and then we can have playtime. I just thought this lot looked really nice from the gallery. Oh yay, it's gorgeous and I love how rainbow it is. Okay, everyone, it's play date time. And Barbie is here too. And Flint came along. Oh my god, and little Jeff, so cute. Well, uh, this is a fabulous lot. I love this with the little cushions. Oh, and the little windmills and cute little um, cute little doll houses and the tables with lots of colors on them with the jelly beans, all from the new toddler stuff pack. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's maybe go on the playground and play a bit of make-believe because this is my favorite part of this pack. The fact that toddlers with a, a skill level of two imagination can play with this. Oh dear, it looks like it's been placed a little bit too closely to play on. Please work. Oh, there we go. It was just a bad angle. Look at that. I just think this is so beautiful how they did this. And that moon phase, like... <laughs> It gets me every time. And the most amazing thing is that no matter what angle you look at it from, it always appears to be 2D. Like, mind blown. And look at this on the slide, how it has like those flashing lights and craters with bubbles coming out of them. Oh my god, it's so awesome. I just love it. And when you click off the toddler, um, the imagination disappears. So you click back on them and only they can see it. It's just so magical. Oh, hey, Jam. Hey, Jam. Uh, let's go make a believe in, in the... Oh, look! Oh. Who was that? Was that... That wasn't Ernesto. That was... Um... Not Tommy, Jeff. That was Jeff. <laughs> Little Jeff going through the tunnel. Oh, he's popped up here now. You never know where they're going to come out. <laughs> Let's get maybe Marco to come over here and help Toddler climb. Let's help little Ernesto climb up there and play pretend. 
get all the adults involved. Oh no! Alchemy's done a little dookie in his pants. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Oh, Marco is such a daddy. Like, look at his outfit. Is he not the most handsome sim ever? Oh, he looks so good. Oh, look at this little dress Indigo's in. All right. Oh my god. Hashtag daddy Marco. He's so attractive. Oh my gosh. In those jeans with that necklace and that watch. I love an Italian with a bit of bling. It's like, great job! Oh, he's such a good dad. Whee! And down the slide you go, Ernesto. You can do it. <laughs> Aww. So cute. So precious. Oh, look at this one up here. What's, what's Diamond doing? She seems to be having a little bit of fun. Oh, look at Tommy just having a little quick break. Gorgeous. And then we've got Jeff over here. Um, Jeff is adopted. Oh my god, someone someone tore down the the dollhouse. That's so mean. Nita's looking very lovely. Oh look. He's playing with alchemy. She's definitely used to being a mom now. She's got the confidence to play with her nieces and nephews as well. Aww. Why Nita's so dressed up? Maybe she and Topaz just came from a work meeting or something like that. Oh, and they have the same hair, her and Ruby, I just realized. Oh, look at these guys getting a little bit jealous. They want to join in on the fun as well. <laughs> That's the most amazing animation, actually. Let's put here, let's like put all of the toddlers on the pillows because they'll look adorable. Um, let's put Ernesto over there and then maybe you should use the bathroom. Oh my gosh, there's even little toddler potties here and um, baths if you need to bathe them. If they, if they do a dookie in their pants. <laughs> Ruby's fixing that up. Oh, what a lovely afternoon. And look, here are some of the others. Is Flint... Um, oh, he better go to work, actually. Oh, Marco, I'm sorry. And look, hello. Hello. Where is he? Ah, here he is. I was wondering where Flint was. Just hanging out with Uncle Jem for a little while. Oh, Jem is looking very spiffy as well. Is there a glitch that they get way too dressed up on play dates? I feel like Barbie needs to interact with the toddlers a bit more. Um, oh, my gosh. Look at them all. Listening to stories. Oh. Now, how are we growing hunger-wise? Maybe do we have nap on ground? Take, take clothes off. I feel like... Oh my gosh, these cushions are just so adorable. No, Ruby, you just fixed it. Ruby's the culprit who always does this. She's going to upset all of the kids. Ruby, you crazy one. Okay, let's maybe pick up your child. Oh, see, look, you've upset Ernesto. Ruby Ruby has some anger management problems, clearly. Let's pick you up. Oh, Jim with Tommy. Hashtag daddy. So cute. I feel like Ruby should have some chatting time with Jim. Maybe tell an engaging story. Just have some family bonding time. This does look like the perfect, perfect afternoon. Oh my god, Flint's crying at the broken dollhouse. Ruby, you're so mean. And Nita's just like, it's okay, sweetie. She just sits there. She doesn't do that much, Nita. <laughs> She's just a very peaceful kind of person. Okay. Um, Ernesto, do you want to go play with... Why can't... You can't interact with these toddlers. Why not? Why not? Uh -huh. Play with toys. There we go. You know what? Actually, let's play with this. Play dolls with a friend. Oh, Ernesto can't play. Why can't Ernesto, like, interact with the other toddlers? Because they don't know each other? Well, they do. Hopefully they'll just join in so they can get to know each other a little bit better. Okay, how is, how is Ernesto going? Okay, so hunger's going down. I think what we'll do 
I don't think we have any food in our inventory. Let's get um, Ruby to maybe make some food on the barbecue so she can give him a little bit of a nibble. Uh, let's grill some... Uh, what do we want to make? Veggie burgers. Okay. You'd think Jem would want to do this. Play the Sims 4 for 24 hours. Trust me, I've done way more than 24 hours. <laughs> Occasionally, it just comes up with these pop-ups. I'm like, I've been playing this for way more than that. I probably got that pop-up like 50 times. Okay, and Ernesto gets very hungry very quickly. Oh, she actually does have some food in her inventory that we could give him. Oh no, it's spoiled. Let's just put that there. Okay, she's that person. She's that person. Eat food, have Sims listen to the stare at the same time, have Sims become playful at the same time. Well, let's um, grab a serving for Ernesto. I feel like we should grab a serving for all of the little, the little tykes. We've also frozen the game just for a moment here. Okay, I feel fine. I thought that was gonna crash, and I was like, oh my god. Um, all right, Ernesto, baby, please have this. Oh my God, Barbie, what are you? Barbie's getting way too excited. Here you go, Ernesto. Mommy got you some food. Enjoy. Okay, eat that up, little, little baby. Okay, grab serving for, maybe we'll get some for little Jeff. And you should be, oh, good boy, good boy, eating his hamburger with Nita. Aw, very cute. Oh, that was a quick little, uh-oh, he's going to use his diapy. Oh, uh, Tommy, that's not an outfit I picked for you. I did not pick that outfit for Tommy. Oh, my God, what happened to Tommy? Tommy disappeared. <laughs> Oh no, we got a silver. That's okay. Where did Tommy go? He just left. He left us. Oh wow, this diapering is... You know what? This lady needs to use a diaper too, Bianca. She's stanky, Bianca. Okay, he's eating that up. Flint's having a good time. Oh, Flint just gets so upset with these... <gasps> Ruby! Oh my god. Worst mum ever. Ruby, how could she just do that with Flint crying? <laughs> Oh my god, and Barbie's just like, ah, oh, that's Ruby for you. She's always liked doing that. We used to buy her so many houses. Oh my, no, please, come on, Ruby. Honestly, that is just rude. Oh god, now she's sick. Well, that's karma, girl. That is karma for ruining kids' doll houses. Oh my gosh. I think we already have some medicine in here. Luckily, when you're a mommy, you have medicine on you. Got tiger stripes. All right. Well, I think that this was a success. Uh, we do need to get our little gorgeous boy home, Ernesto. So we'll get him home. Um, but this was nice. I love this. I love this park. I think this park is fantastic. And I love that Flint came along as well. And a few of the cousins and Barbie too. Um, but in the next part, I think we'll focus on Barbie for a little bit. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon.